George, what's going on? Welcome in, welcome in. I figured I'd start the live a little bit sooner just to like talk to you guys, see how everything's going. Let's catch up on a lot of the binders that I have, uh, things like that. So what I'm looking at right now is the uh, is actually the, the most recent thing that I opened was my Burning Shadows. So I had two uh, booster boxes. For some reason, I don't know how to keep from opening booster boxes. So let me see if I can point the camera somewhere here. So I have, I think I need nine cards from this set. So I have all these. And uh, and what I do is I collect the master set. So uh, basically what that means is I collect the regular and then the, the reverse hollow as well. So that's for every card, if you guys want to. Now, I do have a bunch of doubles. So for those of you who are collecting that uh, didn't get a chance to collect this set because they are starting to become or to go out of print, um, let me know because I might have some reverse hollows or even the GXs and stuff. I mean, I don't really collect uh, collect a lot of uh, the GXs. I just pick which one is the best and then I keep that. Other than that, everything else, um, I'm willing to trade. I mean, especially because I only need eight cards here. I am willing to make you know some pretty crazy trades. Here is the... Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. I'm going to start in a little bit. I'm just showing off the uh, Burning Shadows uh, binder. And most of you guys probably won't care about this stuff, the Reverse Hollow stuff. Um... The good stuff is all the way at the back. So I'll go ahead and go to that page and kind of show you guys what I have so far and then tell you what I need. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can show this. So pretty much, um, I think on there, I need, I need Necrozma over here. And then when it comes to here, I've collected all the full arts. So I need one, um, two more full arts. I need uh, Guzma and Necrozma. And so Guzma goes over there. Uh, most popular card in the set is the Charizard there, the Hyper Rare. And uh, I need Salazzle, the Hyper Rare. I need the uh, Machamp, which is right over here, I believe. And then I need Marsh Shadow and the Lolan Muck. So I have, you know what? I have Marsh Shadow actually. So I actually need Machamp and Lolan Muck. So I'll go ahead and update this. So I actually need only eight cards from this set, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's one of my favorite sets. So for those of you who ask, you know, which set is one of my favorites. Um, I love Burning Shadows. Um, one, because it's not too big of a set. Um, because there's only like 150 cards or so. Um, but also because the cards were, were illustrated pretty nicely. Alright, so, um, you know, obviously we're here for these guys. Booster boxes. Um, since it's already 9 o'clock, which box should I open? Um, now, the votes that I asked for everyone to vote on, uh, it's pretty much tied. So, Rihanna, I see that you're here. So, you, I believe you were the first, or no, not the first, but you're one of the people that commented. And uh, you wanted to see uh, this guy opened. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Since you are on time. Let me go ahead and just move this down here because the cards are going to be better to see. There we go. Cool. All right, let's see how lucky you are, Rihanna. Uh, just kidding, by the way. It's all going to be my luck, <laughs> but I like to include all you guys in there. So if I do get bad pulls, 
None of this is your fault. It's all mine. <laughs> Here we go. All right. 36 packs. Uh, if those of you guys who watched my videos before, always go to left side first. So let's go ahead and move this side over there. And let's go ahead and move up. Start opening them up. Um, I've pretty much opened up a few of these Cosmic Eclipse boxes. And I, I do need a few cards. So what I'll do is I'll pretty much go through each one. But, you know, like I said, one, since I've opened a few boxes, um, what I'll do is I'll go through them a little bit faster towards the end there. Here's the code card. All right, here we go. Flabebe, a Sneasel, and two, a Trap Inch, a Sphiel, a Nose Pass is the Reverse, and a Mimikyu. All right, starting off pretty decent. It's an hollow. Um, here's Energy Card, the Trainers, and Rapidash. All the way at the back there. So I hope everyone's safe. Um, I know that uh, some of you live on the East Coast. It's actually uh, pretty crazy over there, I hear. Uh, hospitals, everything. So hopefully everybody stays safe. All right, here we go. Here is the code card. All right. Togenomaru. Onyx. Whalmer. Palpitoad, Cricketot, Swirlix is the reverse, and Lycanroc. Lycanroc is a very nice card, a very nice Pokemon in the uh, anime series. I don't know if any of you guys watch that. Um, but uh, very, very, very uh, good. I like how they did it. Uh, it's starting to... A lot of the a lot of the shows actually the animated series is starting to have a lot of plot twists, which I like. Uh, instead of just the generic, you know, battling scenes. So really cool to see that. Here is the code card. Pokemon Trio, what's going on? Welcome in. Alright, Rowlet. Phantom. Grimer. Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee, Cricketune is the reverse, and it's a big boy, <laughs> the three babies, there we go. So this is actually uh, one of the, the funner cards in the set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. I believe I have this one in the, in the binder, but it's always good to see one. Um, I, I believe there's a Hyper Rare in that. So I do want the hyper rare one. All right, so three packs in. We got a pretty decent GX card. Um, see if we can keep it going there. And let's hope we get a. I believe I don't think I have any of the gold cards, uh, the secret rares for gold cards. So kind of open for that just to kind of seal up a lot of the the ultra rare cards in this set. Uh, Galette, Dupider. Pileoptile, Carvana, Tepig, Jangmo O is the reverse. Not sure what's doing with his tail. And Seismitoad. And then the energy, Brava, great catcher, and that card, Dragonium Z. From uh, from Cosmic Eclipse, I I haven't played any of the uh, the trainer cards, like the Z um, the Z cards, the jewels, all that extra stuff. Um, if any of you guys have, you know, let me know if they've been actually effective. If it's worth using, I just don't know if somebody would play those in the hand. Uh, that was a Oddish, a Ralts, a Sandy Gast, a Sfeel, Cotton A. Reverse is a Pissimian. And a Swana. And then we got the Fairy Energy, Golduck, Pangaroo, and a Heracross. So 
So for those of you who are new to my, uh, new to following me, new to watching my lives, um, I do show all the code cards. Um, I think that for me, I mean, I have enough uh, code cards that last me for a while. So you'll see from time to time, I will hand out free code cards, just at random, just for fun. Um, I do play the online game um, quite a bit, actually. And that was Nosepass, Narunt, Ruckruff, Deerling. And uh, I think I'm pretty decent. And so I just don't need as many cards. Uh, Magnemite. I like this card a lot. I'm going to put that off to the side. And then Embroar. Uh I like how they did those cards. Um, I still, it's one of my favorite things. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I, I, I would think Tag Team would have had a lot more of that going on. With just different trainer cards. But uh, this is cool. I like how they did that. All right. Here's the code card. All right, here we go. Crab Brawler. Let's get it up near the uh, light there. Carvana. Chinchu. Azuro. A Rufflet. The reverse is a Curlia. And a Whimsicott. All right, well, it's turning into a very dry run at the beginning, which is usually good. Uh, a good sign because usually if it's dry in the beginning, there's something crazy at the end. So definitely looking forward to that. Just a good way to stay positive when you're opening up packs. All right, here's the code card. And for those of you who get really good pulls when you, uh, when you use these code cards, don't forget to kind of share it on the story. You know, add, you know, help me gain followers. Um, I try not to ask too much of any of my followers because this is really something I do regardless, just for fun. Exodrill is the reverse, and Heliolisk is the uh, non-holographic rare. So, yeah, definitely um, just, you know, if you know people that like code cards, if you know people that like just watching uh, boxes being opened, um, you know, by all means, just tell them to follow up. Because that's typically all I do on this uh on this stage all i do is pretty much open boxes um i've been doing it for a while i found out a couple guys do it for fun as well so i said you know why not something to kind of pass the time away it is a hobby of mine i've been doing it for a long time um for those of you who have followed me for a while you've seen my uh collection with binders and and towers there ponyard is the reverse and <laughs> Trigalgi. Um, seen the, uh, the collection there with the cases and everything. So thank you to Ikea for making really good, cheap glass cases. Hopefully everybody has an Ikea near them. If not, it's definitely a, uh, a collector's dream when you need uh, glass cases. All right, here we go. So let's get the code card out of there. All right, here's the code card. Throw that out. All right, here we go. So we got uh, Trap Inch, an Oddish, a Rough Flat, a Piplup, a Lolan Vulpex. The reverse is a Guzma and Hala reverse trainer card, which I might actually need for the set, and an Alolan Sand Slash. There we go. And then Fighting Energy, The Gloom, Floet, and a Zangoose, which looks like he is on a mission. So I will say these packs have become harder and harder to open. I uh, thank you all for trying to uh, make fake cards and fake Pokemon cards because it's making it harder on us to open these packs. Um, they are getting ridiculous. I just opened a box of, um, I want to say it was just X and Y base set. And the the packs were just flying open. No lie, I can just kind of rip them apart without a problem. Now these cards, I have to, I got to like, you know, invest in scissors just to open these guys. All right, reverse is the po uh, Professor Oak's setup, and a Swoobat. 
Swoobet is the rare. Non-holographic, though. So, got to keep going. And here is the code card. All right, here we go. Palkia on the pack. Now, out of curiosity, how many people actually like the Palkia uh, pack art over the Lunala and uh, the other pack art there? Alolan Sandshrew, Ponyta, Sunkern, a Cosmog, Psyduck, the reverse is a Cosmog, and Lantern. Jeez, Lantern's been uh, one of the Pokemons that pa you know, pop up a lot lately uh, for me uh, in all sets. So any set that includes Lantern, that Lantern is going to be popping up at least three or four times. So I'm hoping that the theory is correct. Um, I will say that uh, the theory is that when I open up packs on the left side, if the left side doesn't have a big turnaround, as far as like, you know, GX cards or full art cards, there's usually a lot of good cards that come out towards the right side or the middle of the left side. So uh, let's take a look. So Trapinch is the uh, reverse and that's GX. There we go, Blastoise and Piplup. Beautiful card, uh, one of the pack cards. Um, this is just badass. I mean, they both look really, really cool. Uh, very aggressive, and they're about to do some crazy uh, damage. And let's go ahead and put that off to the side there. And then the rest of the cards. And, of course, the code card. All right, here we go. we got the babies going on. So I just pulled that card, the GX card, with these guys. Like I said, I think the... Most of Cosmic Eclipse, I, I believe I opened about three or four boxes already of these. Um, very fun. Um, and, you know, for me, it's just more about the collection than anything. So, um, I believe the most of the cards that I need at this point are going to be the Hyper Rares. I'll have to double check because I do write out a list quite a bit. Uh, Weevil, still love these cards. And... A Fioni. Um, here is the rest of the cards and of course the code card. I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter for for a lot of us because to make sure you guys can watch everybody else's content as well. So what I'll start doing is now that we're kind of halfway through, we got everything generated already, I'm going to go straight through to the uh, reverse hollows and the uh, rare cards, just so that way we can make up for time. Uh, here is the reverse and the nine tails, and is a hollow. All right, beautiful card. Um, the uh, nine tails, and here is the code card. Yeah, I wasn't kidding about donating some scissors for those of you who like my content and want to donate some scissors please feel free to reach out to me and donate some scissors. <laughs> Here we go. And let's go to the reverse. Where are you? I believe you're right there. There we go. There we go. The reverse is a Sandy Gast. And beware. Beware non-holographic card. Here's the code card. All right, two packs left, including this one, on the left side. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and go to the reverse. Alolan, Sandshrew, and an Ursaring. He's working on his yin and yang. All right, here we go. Here is... The code card, try to get it all the way focused for you, and snap. All right, and now I'm just going to go to the right side. All right, so first pack of the right side, 
Let's start wishing. Oh no, wait. Still, one more pack on the left side there. So this is the last pack magic on the left side. Wish me luck. Let's hope for a pretty awesome card to come out. If not, like I said, no worries. <laughs> Here you go. Here is the code card. Kind of get it in focus there. All right. And the reverse is a sphere. <clears throat> and a walrin. All right. Well, you know, got the evolutions going on. And the rest of the cards. All right. Right side. Final part. So when do you guys think, uh, out of curiosity, which pack do you think is going to be the next pack that has the next uh, GX card in it or one of the uh, the ultra rare cards? Do you think it's going to be this pack or do you think it's going to be one of the next? All right, here we go. Gold Duck. And... No, no way. Lily's Pokey Doll. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Let me just get a sleeve real quick. Because I don't have this card. Put that in here. This is actually, uh, there we go. Cool. Centering is really, really nice. I am not going to take it back out to look at the back, but fun card to have, and I definitely need that for the set, so very excited. There you go. Here we go. Here is the code card. Man, I am glad I got a gold card. So, the theory is right. I don't know about you guys, but theory is right. Here we go. Here is the code. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can pull anything else out of there. Another spiel. I believe this is a different one, though. Different uh, variation. And a holographic Stoutland with the hollow background. There we go. And then the rest of the cards. All right, here we go. Reverse is a Golette. And Waylord. Non holographic. And here is the code card. I don't know why, but for some reason it keeps getting in and out of focus when I put the code card in. Um, so hopefully you guys are getting these codes. Somebody give me a thumbs up or something, letting me know that the codes are actually. Uh, working for you, or at least you see them clearly when they focus. The reverse is a chaotic or chaotic swell, and a sunflora. Not a holographic card, but still a nice card. Here is the code card. Here we go. All right. And this is... Let's see. Oh, okay. So that is the rare. So Togedemaru is the reverse. And Lunala is... This is an actually really nice card. Uh, is the, the holographic rare. There we go. All right. And here is the code card. All right, and let's go ahead and do it this way so that that way. Here we go. All right, here we go. Mimikyu. I think this is actually one of my favorites in the uh, in this set. And Marshadow. I I honestly think if they made that those cards in gold cards, 
it would have been much nicer. And not just, you know, in different variations. Like, I, if you didn't, you know, put them in a hyper uh, form or any of the other GX forms, I'd be okay with it if they just get them in gold cards. Because that would have been sick to have each print in uh, all just in in gold. Here's the rock rough. I think um, a lot of those cards. There we go. Charizard and the bricks in. This one's actually a really nice card too. Let me see if I can put that in the sleeve. It's a good card. Uh, it's a good card to have in the set. There we go. Um, oh snap! Yeah, for sure. There we go. See what I was talking about was uh, a lot of these uh, team up cards. It's just um, I like how they did that with the Pokemon with the different trainers, but man, it just doesn't do it justice. Like they should have, they should have set it up where uh, they did something uh, with the gold cards instead. All right, so let's see. So this is actually a pack error. You guys see that? How the the card is backwards? That is weird. All right, here we go. So I have the reverse Swoobat. The rare is a Mimikyu. And I'm just curious to see if this is something crazy. Uh, a Herdier. Okay. So no, nothing crazy. I thought maybe they threw in something extra. Said, hey, I'm loving your content. Let me just throw some extra cards at you. Uh, they love the content, but didn't throw, throw me anything extra. Uh, cool card, though. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here is the code card. And the reverse. A Chinchu. And a Steelix. And that's actually in hollow. Hollow form. Steelix hollow. There we go. Alright, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 packs left, including this one. Um, I did ask the question as far as <laughs> when do you think the next GX card is going to pop up. Um, so I'll leave it to you guys if you want to have like a quick call out battle as far as when you think the next GX is going to pop out. Um, I know I've done that a few times and it's been fun. Uh, people joining in and everything. All right, here you go. Here is the reverse ultra necrozma sick card in my, I mean, I think they could have did this in like a full art. And then the rare is a hollow sand. Here is the code card. All right, next pack. So I know you guys are all from different parts of the U.S. Um, some of them actually out of the country. How's everything going with this whole COVID-19 situation for you guys? I hope everything's going well. Um, you know, frankly, it's just, I could tell you right now, I just went shopping uh, just to kind of fill up the grocery stores. Uh, the state of Michigan might be... Uh, might be going into martial law. We're not sure yet. I know a lot of people are tossing the idea around, but nothing official. Um, martial law meaning that you just don't go anywhere. Um, so I'm curious to see that. We are already at the, the point where they are shelter in place and asking people to go out only for necessities. I have seen a few uh, patrol cars out there just to kind of check up on people and see what they're actually doing, uh, whether they're going out for necessities or if they're going out just to go out and so here is the code card uh, and let's see reverse is the floet and the rare is a heliolisk all right we already have the heliolisk and i believe we have the floet 
so I can't get too excited. Um, shout out to a lot of you guys who are around my age who remember when a lot of the uh, a lot of Japanese cards came out where they had contests for children in school. So like if you could come up with a you know just a sick drawing or not like a really nice drawing, they would feature it in their Pokemon cards as like a promo. So shout out to any of you guys who remember that. Uh, Weezing and a Teddy Ursa. All right, here we go. And the code card. All right, five packs left. Let's see if there's anything else left in this box that's uh, going to be attention grabbing. Uh, now, we are due for one more, so let's hope uh, for something nice here. Uh, we got a Skrelp, a Pikachu, a Stuffle, a Ponyard. A lit Leo. The reverse is a Sneasel. And I see a little shiny in the background. And that's going to be a Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy. Still beautiful card. Um, I like the fact that uh, a lot of them get together and become just some big, gigantic Pokemon. So, uh, for those of you guys who watch the anime series, that was something that happened. Uh, very cool. And they should have done a wishy-washy a hyper rare as well. I think that that's something that is definitely overdue. So Pokemon, I know you're watching. You follow me all the time. I'm just kidding. They don't. Uh, but somebody should at least. A lot of my friends out there, followers that make um, make their own like uh, cards, uh, unofficial cards, you guys should think about doing a wishy-washy hyper rare and an empoleon here is the code card all right three packs left i'm hoping for last pack magic we haven't gotten anything crazy yet uh besides the wishy-washy of course um so might be another gx card in there or a hyper rare um, i know that we got the gold card so I'm not sure if anything else is going to be warranted. Heracross Reverse and a Bravery. Bravery, definitely a badass um, move there that it's about to finish off. All right, two packs left. The last pack is the Babies pack. Now knowing that I got them in a GX... I'm going to take that as a sign, as uh, it was my first GX card that I pulled from the box. Knowing that it's ending with that just has to mean something. Seismitoad Reverse and uh, Grudon just annihilating the floor. I don't, I don't even know what's going on there. Look at that. All right, and then the code card. And then last pack, guys. Last pack magic. And what I'll do, uh, because some of you actually joined up uh, in the middle of the video, um, is I'll show the uh, the uh, rare pools that came out of the, the pack there. All right, here we go. So we got the Embroar reverse and the Lantern. I just talked about you saying how that thing pops up all the time. I got the code card there, and then let me go ahead and just show the pools because some of you did join in the middle. Uh, thank you for joining, period. I don't care if you join in the middle, beginning, or end. I appreciate you know the the help there. So we got the Wishy Washy. We got the Charizard and Brexen Mix, which is just one of my favorites. Um, they got the Gold Lilies Poke Doll. And you got the Blastoise and Piplup match. You got the babies. And I think that is it. Everything else from the um, the reverses are pretty much um, what you guys saw in the video. Uh, nothing really that important. No GXs or anything like that in this pack. But um, got the Gold Lily um, doll. Uh, needed that for sure. So I appreciate you guys for taking some time because you could be doing something else, but you chose to hang out with me. Thank you again. Enjoy your night. And I hope you like the, uh, the content there. Next week, uh, don't forget... I do have 
one more box left, and that's the uh, Sword and Shield. Some of the, if you guys have noticed with opening up the short Sword and Shield, a lot of this uh, white powder, the Pokeball stamp, is actually now goes away, uh, just to protect people from buying uh, fraudulent packs. So I've been getting all this white stuff all over my hands because of it. Uh, but there you go. End of the night. I'll see you next week. Thank you again. And don't forget to just kind of follow, you know, have your friends follow and share. And uh, that's all I can really say. Thanks.